Hi guys, it's finally time to talk about the final. Remember in, as always in our units, scroll down so you don't miss anything. We begin with our student learning outcomes and then you have the items you need to read. This PDF covers Rules for Writers Chapter 6. That was the book we used to use and uh, this chapter seems to fit a little better with what we're trying to do here. So we've got a copy of just that chapter. Um, there's Stop Chasing Scale in Higher Education by John Colco. And then there's Should Everyone Go to College by Stephanie Owen and Isabel Sawhill. Um, make sure that you recognize this one has two authors and make sure that you note that appropriately when you are writing your paper. Um, there's a film called Ivory Tower. Uh, you will need to watch that. It talks about the expense and investment of college. There are several short videos um, covering the Kalamazoo Promise and there's a speech, um, a valedictorian speech that was given a few years ago. Um, the speech does, the video does cut off about the first three sentences but you can read the entire speech here. Um, and then finally of course our final exam instructions. So let's look at those. What you're going to be writing about here um, in no less than 600 and no more than a thousand words is one of these two prompts. Again, don't answer both, just do one. Is college for everyone? What evidence from these articles and the one you find on your own supports your position? So again, you're giving your opinion, but you're not saying, I think, I feel, I believe, um, or for me, this is what my journey has been like. This is not about you. Remember that. Um, and then the other option is what are the largest challenges facing those who want to go to college and is it worth it to try to find a way to overcome them? Is it worth the investment of time, money, and mental power that it takes to attend college and be successful in college? You must include at least one direct quote from each of the two articles I gave you from the Colco and from the Owen and Sawhill. Um, you must also find two sources. Uh, this should say two that you find on your own. I will fix that as soon as I am done with this video. Um, find two sources of your own, each that are properly formatted, cited, edited. Um, remember not to use Wikipedia and to keep your quotes short and succinct. Um, as always, MLA style, do not use pre-formatted template, and do not forget to put your word count. We do have a peer review on this one just as we have on the others, so make sure that you do uh, participate in that. And um, again, give it an interesting title, not is college for you, not essay four, not final exam. Title should be interesting. Remember to write it as if the reader has no idea what it's about. Um, and while you're focusing on your own opinion, you can't state that it's an opinion. You have to state it as if it's a fact. Um, please be careful to spell out each name correctly and not to use honorifics. We do not call them Mr. or Miss. Um, we only mention the author's last name. And uh, once again, make sure that you are aware on the authors here that John Colco is male and Stephanie Owen and Isabel Sawhill are both female. So he says, and they, both she's, say. I guess they would be more appropriate there. Um, as always, if you have any questions on this, let me know. This is due no later than 11.59 on August 5th, and this will be the last thing you need to do to make sure that you are complete in the course. Congratulations on making it this far, and I look forward to reading what you have to say.